sparkling strawberry limeade. It sounds terrific for summertime, and it really is. It is for grown-ups, however. It does use a sparkling wine, so uh, you could substitute that out with something else. But if you are a grown-up, I wouldn't do it. I've got three cups of strawberries here that I've sliced. You don't have to do a lot to them because we're putting them in a blender, and they're going to take their uh, process from that. I'm also going to add a half a cup of French fresh mint leaves and a half a cup of fresh lime juice. And to be honest, this was the most challenging part of it, was squeezing the lime. So uh, if, if that's the hardest you have to work, then you're good to go. Uh, also gonna add about a fourth of a cup of water because I wanna have plenty of liquid in here to uh, have the uh, system work, blender, and then a fourth of a cup of honey. Now you could use another sweetener, you could use agave if you wanted to. I like honey better than, than that, uh, but uh, there are other options out there for sweeteners too. All right, put the lid on that, and then we're gonna blend this until it gets nice and smooth. So it's not gonna take a long time, but you do wanna stop it at some point, uh, stir it around a little bit, and then start it again, because once in a while a strawberry will hide down there in the bottom and not get blended well. That's all there is to that. Again, this uh, you would normally, for the entire thing, use 750 uh, milliliters of a sparkling beverage of some sort, whether it's alcoholic or not. I'm just gonna make one. This will keep in the refrigerator for a few hours or maybe even a few days. It's never lasted that long. Uh, so we're gonna put some of this into our cup where we can see it and make sure it looks gorgeous. Yeah, officially it's a half a cup. It's going to kind of depend a little bit on the size of your glass. If you do use a half a cup for it, it should make uh, six servings. And then to that, as I said, I'm just making uh, a little bit for now. So you want to pour the sparkling wine down along the edge of it as much as you can to try and keep as much of that uh, foam in there as, as possible. And again, it should be about equal amounts that you're, you're adding. So we'll get that in there. And then I'm going to use a chopstick because they don't go together on their own. So uh, you can use a chopstick and, and just stir it gently, retaining as much of the uh, effervescence as you can. Now, as far as cocktails are concerned, this one's got a lot of nutrition, although I always wonder if we can count that uh, under these circumstances. But it's a great way to use some of our strawberry produce. Uh, our summer produce. You could switch this out and use uh, peaches during peach season and, and so on down the line. From where I'm standing, that looks fairly well blended. It smells awesome. And then we're going to add a little bit of a garnish to that. And there you have it. Sparkling strawberry limeade for Oklahoma Gardening. This is Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.